This was the stocking pulled all the way across, all the way down like, like a regular stocking, and then stitched across the top. It was one of the first ones, again, it's not the best way to do it. See the stitching all the way around on the neck, and then it's, it was really hard to see what to do over here. And this mouth doesn't open well, and there was too much glue in the center, so be prepared for to do a little experimentation. It seems a lot better to do what we're going to do a little bit later instead of pulling the stocking all the way across and gluing it, but this also works. Here he has a little lip, and again, stitching along here. This was sewed on the machine all the way around, and then stitching in the back. And when the eyes were put in, they're sculpted with a little puffy eye eyelids and a little puffy mouth. Now this one wasn't glued at all, and it's two. It's really hard to make two alike, but there are two like this one. They look a lot alike. They were made alike. But there's no glue in the center. Instead of the glue, again, this one is, is machined all the way around. Two pieces sewing machine together, which makes a bigger one, especially with the, one of the bigger heads. And instead of glue here, there's stitching right from there to there taken from the inside. Now, I've got a thimble here somewhere, but you really should use a thimble so you're not picking yourself all the time. And I didn't say, but you should be using like tan. Here's a thimble, remember, so you don't pick yourself. And also tan thread, whatever the color of the nylons are. There's a little bit of blush on his lip and a little dimple. It's really quite amazing what can be done if you just take your time. Now, those uh, puppets all had the nylon across the mouth. Now, the rest that I'm going to show you right here were cut right across there. The, that's why uh, Kathy's been putting the little red mounds in, because she's making the ones that we're going to be putting the uh, nylon faces on. And we cut the nylon right across there and then hot glue gunned it. Now, some of them even have little cheeks. She left little parts there. And um, it's tucked under. And the hot glue gun or a tacky glue, you have to experiment to see which one works better for you. To hold down, generally the tacky glue worked well for me. Again, you could pin those to the spot where they're supposed to be. Um, now this is a girl puppet and has little eyelashes and little uh, white felt behind. And um, soft sculptured, sewn. Um, now I should really tell you, if you don't, aren't familiar with soft sculpture, that you just take a needle and thread and bunch your cloth up. I should have told you that before, like I was doing. You bunch your cloth up and then sew wherever it happens to be. Sew the, cloth, sew the dimples and sew the nose. We're going to show you in a minute how you can put other uh, parts onto the, um, the head. You don't just have to use a soft sculpture. This is a pretty one. She has blue eyeshadow, and again, it's sewn all the way around the edge on a machine. could be sewn by hand. It's, it's sewn uh, hand-stitched right here, but she's got just a little self-nose, little eyelashes, and uh, which can, you can get it at a craft store, a little brown animal eyes, and a little red lipstick um, out of acrylic paint. And again, it was slid across and tucked under. Some of my favorite ones have cheeks because a little piece was left out and, and then glue, uh, glued later on. Now, more then we have some characters that are a little bit rougher. And this was sewn on machine, the top sewn with uh, um, hand stitching. And this has been glued right across there. And again, the sliced open and then stitched under. Now she may, by the looks of it here, she may have um, this is hot glue right here. She may have sewn to, so it wouldn't run right along the edge. That's what it looks like. Then there's one long stitch right there and little bushy eyebrows. Now this is what I just told you. She made a nose, just a funny nose. Now when I made Zeke, I used it right out of his uh, own material, but this one's just a funny little piece of a nylon with, and there's stitching across there and there with two little lumps that were just uh, sewn 
by itself and then hot glue gun onto the face. The same with this one. These two are a lot alike too. These are my hillbilly puppets that are in the process of being made with their bushy, bushy eyebrows. Now, also, this is really quite amazing. These two are alike, but she's got um, styrofoam on the inside. Little styrofoam, carved styrofoam. They're both alike, and except one, she has a palette, or has a little pink tongue. And again, stitched all the way around the outside edge, and then um, a little eye lids with just stitching. Just take a little pin and um, put it where you want it, and then stitch it, and stitch the lines under the eyes. Now uh, here, she's added with a with a hot glue gun, a piece of nylon to look like the inner lip all the way around, like that. Let's see, she did that on both of these. Now we're going to add, uh, do some other things, so let's uh, go on to the next section. Wow. Now this one, long eyelashes and sculpted eyes, and the mouth has been added. Again, stitching is all the way around the back, and I think I'm going to make a, a black girl out of her. I've got this fabric paint, and paintbrushes. Now, I've already done, remember the twins? There was Who Fooling Who and Me Fooling You. This is the other one. And I used yellow fabric paint, about three coats. My daughter helped me with this. It's got yarn across here and there. And just rouge. There, hot glue gun on that section. And then I'm stitching right around there. Right now I've got that pinned on. Just a little piggy tail in the back. Just a little piece of fake fur. Let's look at the different types of um, hair that we can put on, the, on these puppets and ventriloquist figures. Now there's different colors. If you were going to have a funny character, you could use red or blue, green. But if you're going to use a believable character, Here's gold. This is this is uh, my Chuckles the Clown has yellow, brown, uh, red, black, white, gray, and there's also a mixture of gray and black together. There's um, are various kinds. There's there are Halloween wigs that are always good. Here's what's called Maxi Loop. I've got the address if you want to find where a distributor is. This would be cute on the little girl that's going to be black. Or a curly-headed baby. And then a wig. And I've got various addresses for wig catalogs. If you will write me. Again, send a double stamp business size, top address envelope, and I will um, send you the information that you need. I use spray net, sometimes a real stiff spray, and just a comb. And um, spray that real the puppet's hair real tightly. This was a wig too. And this has sculptured ears that I, many of them have. In a future program we're going to be looking at the different characters that I have more closely. But it's just nylon with the uh, uh, polyester inside and then stitched on the sewing machine. These were stitched by hand. A little white behind the animal eyes. That has its own sculpted nose. This has the themes down the Side. Uh, not to forget the rest of the painted puppets. This was this is a, another. I have two clowns. This is one of them, and I'm going to use. I painted this probably two three coats. Haven't got the mouth painted yet. This is going to be my French clown. Be all black and white, and. This one, just my regular clown, with the red wig from a costume shop. Don't forget to go to your costume shops. They're great. Go to Simp Liners in Mount Pleasant. You get a lot of things. Here's a little nose that I'm going to put on, a little foam nose, clown nose. And I used, again, fabric paint on the inside of his lips. This is then sculpted and then, and then painted, then pink on the inside and then black in here.